What's up guys, it's KV, and today I show you how to solder broken wires. Now these wires happen to be broken because my pet rabbit chewed through them. Uh, if you know anything about having pet rabbits, keep all your wires up because they will chew through anything. So this should be a good video for anybody who, uh, you know, has a broken mouse or broken keyboard or, or really any electronic device uh, with these small wires that you have to get right any USB device should be the same so let's get started now you're gonna need a few items um, a small vise is really handy some sort of way to hold the wires this was my dad's it, it seems to work really well um, you're gonna need a soldering gun or soldering iron of some sort uh, your lead free solder preferably smaller gauge for the smaller wires I do have some smaller stuff than this but it um, is a silver solder and silver solder melts much higher temperatures so we don't really want to use that and make sure it should say on it electrical rosin core solder that's what you want I've got a razor knife a pair of cutters if I need them now you're also going to need some shrink tube or electrical tape. I usually use electrical tape, but today I wanted to kind of show a more professional job. So we're going to use the uh, heat shrink tube. Okay, what do we have here? We've got a black wire. We've got an uninsulated wire. We have a red wire that's almost chewed through. We've got a white wire, a green wire, and it almost, and that's it. And and uh, some insulating foil around it, and some pieces of rope, which probably uh, helped keep it together in, in the instance that you end up pulling it apart. I think I'm going to start on this by going ahead and cutting our rubber insulation off. I've already I already had it stripped back. But I'd like to strip it a little bit more. So I'm going to take my knife and lightly press. You don't want to push too hard and cut through all your wires just lightly press and that'll open it up All right my vice is loose there get the other side in here let's do the same thing The more room you have to work with your wires, the better. And cut off that excess so it's not in my way. Same with this insulating foil, get it out of the way. So if we examine that red wire pretty close, not sure, you can barely see that little reflective part right there. She did bite down to that wire, but give it a good pull. It's, it's still solid. So I can leave that wire alone, but I will want to cover that up with a little piece of tape or something. So really, all we have to attach is the black wire and the non insulated wire. So this won't be too bad at all. So now that we have some room to work here, I want to strip the wires. So we'll take a razor knife and just kind of scrape it up.
these wires are pretty hard to hard to strip. There we go. So now you can see the wires there. You want to take those and twist them. And usually you want to twist them clockwise. I don't think it matters as long as you twist both wires the same direction. And twisting keeps all those fibers together. It makes the wire a little bit thicker. Makes it uh, easier to work with. Okay. We'll take the snips, cut that uh, foil insulator out of there. Do the same on both sides. Oh. Make sure you don't get your little wires there. Okay, now we'll strip the other side. Just again take the razor blade. and kind of scratch it down and then use your fingernail there it is again we'll twist the wires boy these things are tiny this is the small, the smallest soldering job I think I've uh, done in a long time <coughs> Now I'm going to take and open this side up a little bit more because I've got to have enough room to get my shrink tube in there. Perfect. Okay. Honestly, guys, I don't know if this shrink tube is going to be uh, small enough for this wire. I really don't think it's going to. Let's. Let's try a small piece and, and see. Yeah, not quite small enough, guys. Not quite small enough. So, we'll have to use tape on this one. Okay, so now that we've got them stripped, let's go ahead and twist them together. Now, there's lots of ways to do this, guys. If I was going to use the shrink tube, I would do this a completely different way. So this is kind of the uh, cut and dirty way. I twisted them. I folded them in half and twisted them again so it's nice and thick. Got a good thick spot there to solder on. Let's get that set up in the vise. Alright, I've got my wires prepped, ready to be soldered. Um, now usually I would have plugged the soldering iron in when I got started so it would be hot by now. But uh, I'm not in a hurry. So I'm going to go ahead and just plug this in right now. Smoke a bowl and I'll be right back. Alright, it's been about 10 minutes now. And our soldering gun is nice and hot. If you take it touch a bit of solder to it it melts right away so now to solder these wires together what you want to do is actually put the soldering iron underneath your wires and you hold it there long enough until the solder will actually melt when it touches the wires if you just put your iron on there and start feeding it solder, it's not going to work. You actually have to heat those wires up until the solder absorbs into the wires.
Okay. Alright guys, that's that's one down. Get that hot soldering gun out of the way. Be careful with those too, that'll that'll start a fire in no time. We'll grab our second wire. Actually here, let me give you a give you a close up on that. You can see how the solder is soaked into the wire. That's not that's not very pretty, but uh but that's a good solder, it'll hold. So we'll take that, get it out of the way. And now we'll twist up our next set of wires. And now gonna do the same thing. So usually I'll try to hold the wire down with the solder. And when it's hot enough, like it is now, that the wire will melt melt the solder right into it. Beautiful. Okay. Unplug the soldering gun. Not too bad. That'll work just fine. Now, a, a trick that my dad taught me with any rosin core solder, you have to crimp the end of it. You can just put it in your pliers, give it a little bit of a pinch, and what that does is seals the solder. That way, your rosin doesn't come out. Alright, so the last thing we have to do is to tape these wires. And I really, really don't like taping small stuff like this. It's a pain in the ass. What I've found that works well is just cutting little oops that's too little actually that'll work for that uh, red wire that has that spot in it but I found what works for me is just cutting off little pieces of tape at a time Now if we would have had shrink tube, we could have done this a little bit cleaner. I really don't like to use electrical tape. Um, it works well, don't get me wrong, but it's definitely not the prettiest job. So with fixes like this, you saw how the rope was in there, and you also saw how I had to shorten my wires. Because I had to do that, any kind of pulling force on these wires were going to be on my solder job. And those wires are so thin, I mean, that's why they put the rope in there, guys. That's, you know, to uh, to give it some tensile pull strength. So what I do on things like that, when I have to do it this way, is I make my junction up here, I make my, my fix here, and then I tape down about an inch on the wires. We'll give it uh, a couple extra wraps right there. And then one more back up. that off okay now the reason I do this is because so it's going to be plugged in the keyboards on the other side now if I end up jerking this hard I mean that's a pretty good pull I'm giving it right there 
all your forces right here. Those strands already have rope through them. You know, that's going to be a lot stronger than if I would have fixed it as a butt to where when I pull on it or, you know, it gets snagged, it uh, has all the force on my soldered joints. <clears throat> <clears throat> so this way it's going to be tougher it's going to last longer it's not the prettiest fix in the world guys but it's a good fix it's a strong fix and it's one you don't have to worry about well all right guys that's how you solder wires together um, leave me a comment if you have any questions or concerns uh, if you liked it hit the button otherwise subscribe share and until next time this is KV for KV Customs